So Jeffrey Voss gave another speech recently to the Commercial Bar Association. Um, and as with many of Sir Geoffrey Voss's speeches, he uh, uses it as an opportunity to pitch his vision for a kind of future dispute resolution system where uh, you have this one uh, court service website where everything goes into the website and gets sorted into, into whatever um, route is most suitable, whether that's uh, mediation or going to court or early neutral evaluation or just have some artificial intelligence bots decide the case for you. Um, uh, but I just want to focus on a couple of things that he that he said. One was um, well, when I learned a new word, prolixity. I hadn't learned that word before. I hadn't known that word before. It sort of means uh, verbose writing, writing things that are too long. Um, and I'll just quote quote what he says on that. Uh, he says, "Lawyers draft long documents, uh, as the old saying goes, because they do not take the time to think hard enough uh, to draft short ones." Um, it may be hard, but we should think carefully before rewarding incompetence by allowing long documents to be charged on the basis of hourly rate remuneration. Ouch. Um, so he's really going for the jugular there on um, dispute, uh, dispute resolution lawyers. Let me give my perspective on this, right? So the kind of cases that I, that, that I see, a uh, typical dispute that's going through the county court, kind of 50 grand to 100 grand, that sort of order of magnitude, um, and you do get long documents, right, even in fairly simple cases, because, you know, the claimant has written, uh, the set out the original claim on maybe 10 pages, maybe 50 number paragraphs. Um, the defendant then, then files their defense and they address every single paragraph on the claim and they might add a few points of their own. Um, and then the claimant replies to that. And they will also, again, address every single numbered paragraph and they'll be add, end up adding a few more. Um, and then by the time you've added some copies of uh, the contract that's the center of the dispute, maybe an expert witness report, um, uh, some screenshots of emails, and of course they get really repetitive because you get the email and the whole thread, and then you get the email again and the thread and what have you. You've soon got several hundred pages of, of documents. Um, and that's the, you know, that's the standard process. That's what everybody, that's what everybody does. Um, and if you're preparing, preparing for a one-time showdown in court, You've kind of got to do this, right? You've got to address every point that the other side makes because you might not get another another opportunity to do that. Um, but this does have, you know, the effect of making it much harder to settle the dispute. Again, as as Voss says, repeating the case their lawyers have written down again and again in pleadings, witness statements, experts' reports serves to persuade the parties how right they are, but rarely the opposing party. So by repeating. Um, every point again and again, um, you become very convinced of your own, the right, you know, the, the correctness of your own case, um, but you, you really don't move the other side at all. Um, and really the dispute is usually just down to a couple of key things, right? You know, a, a householder builder disputes, the builder intended to you know, provide a rough estimate for the cost of the upgraded heating system or the different type of um, uh, render finish or whatever it was. And the householder understands that they've negotiated a fixed price and then there's this misunderstanding. Um, or in the case of a, a, a company founder, they, uh, they think they own the source code that's been written by their um, uh, software developer, but the software developer, an independent contractor, thinks they own the, own the source code. And that's the you know, crucial point of, of difference. Um, and the dispute resolution process that we have at the moment just serves to widen the gap between the two parties until you know you uh, you come headlong uh, against each other at a at a court hearing. Um, now consider a different approach, right? Remember uh, Kleros, the uh, cryptocurrency-based uh, online dispute resolution system that I've spoken about before. With Kleros, um, you know your job if you're presenting a case there is is to persuade a, a handful of neutral jurors that that you know that, that they should decide the case in your in your favor and in that in that scenario you're not going to send you know a 200 page bundle with the crucial points you know kind of buried in the uh, in in the detail you're just going to write a a couple of paragraphs you know maybe a one page summary to really make sure that those um, those neutral uh, jurors understand exactly what the point of difference is and they can make a, an informed decision about it. Um, and that, so that kind of approach is just miles away from the, um, the typical dispute resolution process we currently have through the, going through the courts. Um, uh, and why, like, so how do you get from 
you know, the system we have now to something that you would be more like, more like Kleros, which just feels like the best way to, to really get to the uh, crux of the dispute. Um, uh, I don't know how to get there, um, but it does seem that that would be uh, an improvement on the system. And that's, that's kind of lost in, in all the stuff that Sir Jeffrey Voss is talking about, or like revolutionizing the, the dispute, the court service and the dispute resolution process generally about having, you know, this big uh, website where everything goes in and gets, and gets funneled to the right uh, dispute resolution mechanism. Um, nowhere in there is it really explicit you, that you, you need to work to drill down what really are the points of, points of difference. Um, and I think that's crucial to improving, improving the system. But I don't know, I don't quite know how we get from what we have now to some, uh, some improved, improved dispute resolution system. Um, if you have any ideas, please put them in the comments. Thank you.